The Miami Heat with Jimmy Butler leading the show, a.k.a. Hemi Jordan, knocked off the number one seed Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. Upset them. Shocked them. In five games. Because of the heroics of Hemi Butler. Hemi Jordan. But it's also the disappointment and this d dumb dumbness of this one man that we're going to talk about. And that is Coach Bud. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back and get with another video. Now, before I get into Coach Boonhorse, right, uh, I want to send my condolences out to him and his family. It was an absolute tragedy that happened to him in the series. His his bro just passed away in a car crash. So I know he was it did that really probably affected him uh, and the decision making that he made with with his team and how it really affected him this whole series. So I want to first send my condolences, you know, prayers up to his family because that's something nobody wants to happen, especially when you're coaching a whole team and you hear hear that new hear that news from somebody else in the source. So, you know, praise up to him and his family. I hope he hope he gets better and hope he strives from this. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get into the real problem now. Coach Bud, after all what I just said, this might be one of the worst coaching performances I've seen in a minute. There's a lot of issues on why this Milwaukee team lost this series. Other than Jimmy Butler. Other than Hemi Jordan. Obviously, but first of all, why didn't you have Giannis when he came back from entry guard Jimmy Butler in the first place? Why you have Drew Holiday on him the whole time? I know Drew Holiday is one of the best defenders in the game. We can make an army, he is the best defender in the game. But if Jimmy Butler killing him this whole series, just like this, from, from game from game one, game number one to Game five. Why not make any adjustments? Why let him, Drew Holiday keep guarding him, knowing that Jimmy Butler cannot be stopped? Put a bigger person on him, like Giannis. Put Giannis on him. Put the other superstar that's on the opposite team, that's on your team, on him. That that, that is right there. It solves a couple problems. Even though Jimmy Butler still has the advantage of you know forcing Giannis to in foul trouble and you know still doing his thing but it's still going to tame him a little bit again why not double jimmy in game four when he was going on that run obviously everybody's talking about how J jimmy bubble performance but it was a couple people not uh, actually talking about you know double jimmy who else is out there from miami right now other than bam you got bbl you got Caleb Martin. Matt Struess was the most inconsistent shooter. Kevin Love who's been hooping, but he's been in foul trouble. And Gabe Vincent? Why not double Jimmy? You am going this huge stretch, especially, this is especially in game four. You am going this huge stretch in the fourth quarter when y'all was up by 12 points. Well, like less than six minutes to play. And you let him go on this huge stretch to, to cut the lead and let them get the lead. And he scores like, what, 15, something like that unanswered? And no double team. Not only that, no timeout. No timeout. It was a couple of instances you could have called a timeout in game four. I'm going to speak on game five in a minute. But in game four. Why not call a timeout when they got the steal after Caleb Martin make that huge three to tie the game over Giannis and they got that huge three and, and Jimmy ducked the ball. No timeout. Then after that, Jimmy gets to, gets the ball again. Y'all missed the shot. Gets the ball again. Gets to the rack. And draws a foul. No timeout. Before that, Jimmy is a, is a huge step back to cut, to cut the deficit. 
I don't believe that was a time of day. I, it probably was, but still, it was a little too late. It was a little too late. So, I'm not going to lie. Y'all lost the series in game four. It was, I'm not going to lie. It was already over at game four. It don't matter if it was six or seven. I, I didn't believe Jimmy Butler was going to lose. Get down three, uh, up 3 1 in Miami, especially Eric Spolstra. Knowing uh, what kind of coach he is, there is not going to lose. There is not going to lose. Come, there is not going to choke 3 1 elite. So, y'all lost the series in game four. Now, let's get to game five. The, game five was horrendous because y'all had to leave. Y'all, y'all almost dubbed him. Y'all was up by 16 in the fourth quarter. And again, Jimmy Butler goes on his rage rant. 15 unanswered. With Drew Holiday guarding him saying, I own you. I own you. He does. You still don't make no adjustments? None whatsoever. And on top of that, you this whole team missing a whole bunch of... Now, Giannis, I like his press conference. I really do. How he is playing... There's no failures in sports. It's a definitely a pep talk. It's a definitely a TED talk because he has a point. But he definitely failed at the free throw line because how are you a superstar? You miss 13, 15 free throws. That is unacceptable. I don't care. He definitely. I don't care what kind of stats he had. He had 38 and 20. It was great. He could have had 53 and 20, and he missed. All those free throws. I was a huge part of the game. Not only him, Drew Holiday missed a cute, pitiful, pitiful free throw at the line down the stretch too. Y'all missing free throws, and then on top of y'all, y'all coach Bus still not calling timeout, still not making no adjustments. None. He made no absolute made one adjustment he made in the series, other than putting Giannis back in the game when he was when he was injured. I, so when we get the overtime, when Jimmy Bowen hits that huge, huge, you know, tip in to get it overtime, that's just he just he's just him. He's Jimmy is him. You know, there was nothing to, stop, to do to stop that. Get the overtime. Drew Holiday is still guarding young Jimmy. What does Jimmy do? Post up, spin, shot, stares at him. You can't guard me. It's basically what he's saying. He can't guard him. No adjustments. Now, at that time, Miami had to lead. So y'all came back and y'all cut it to two. Gabe missing missed the three. Y'all Giannis gets the rebound. Y'all have two timeouts. Two. Not one. Two. What do you do? Oh, you just let them play. It's about 10 seconds left. Let, let the clock run. You know, no no play design and nothing. No 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 kind of play design. No management of the clock. Look like y'all not really rushing. Y'all just drill, just galloping up the court. Get and y'all swing the ball around and y'all give it to Grayson Allen, who does know not know what he's doing on the court and this could and this keep put over part of the game at all. Doesn't even look at the clock. Oh, I mean let me pelt baby and dribble. The clock runs out. Game over. Series over. No timeout. Coach Bo, what are you doing? I, I I know you probably had a lot in your mind, but I'm not I'm not gonna lie, Coach Bud. They're not making an excuse for you, though. They're not making any excuses for you. I would not be I hope you don't, but I won't be surprised if he loses his job because of this series. Y'all can comment down below what y'all think uh the Milwaukee Bucks should do with Coach Bud because this is horrendous. This is one of his worst coaching performances. And he has had some bad coaching performances when he was in Atlanta. Believe me. I know. This is one of his. This is probably his worst. This was unacceptable. There was no stopping Jimmy. But they could at least double him. Make other, other players around him could beat, beat this team. And... Call your timeouts and make adjustments and guard, have Giannis guard him, somebody else. And on top of that, how are you not going to put Jay Crowder in the game? Nobody's talking about that. You know Jay Crowder, any team he goes to, they go to the finals. 
They might not win. He was he was a former teammate of Jimmy Butler when they went to the finals back in the bubble season. In 2021, he was Devin Booker. He was on Phoenix. They went to the finals. He was key pivotal piece to a East team. And you don't even play him much in the series. I understand his frustration. Coach Bud, you dropped the ball in this series. You dropped the ball in this season. That's all I got to say for this video, man. I hope y'all get I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give a ball. Like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Keep dropping these bangers for y'all. And it's been your bowl. Will and I'm out.